Welcome to the Digium IP Phone Training Series, How to Use Your New Digium IP Phone Video. In this video, you'll learn how to make and receive calls, place a call on hold, and transfer a call. To make a call using the handset, lift the handset and listen for a dial tone. If you do not hear a dial tone, your phone may not be registered to your PBX. Please contact your network administrator for assistance. Once you hear the dial tone, use the number keys to enter the extension or phone number you want to call. Your Digium phone is configured to dial some numbers automatically, just like a traditional telephone. If the number you enter does not dial automatically, you will need to press the dial soft key to complete the call. You can also perform an on-hook dial by entering the number first and then lifting the handset to complete the call. Perform an on-hook speakerphone call by entering the extension or phone number you wish to call and pressing either the dial soft key or one of the phone's line keys. If you want to perform an off-hook speakerphone call, Lift the handset and press the speakerphone key. When you hear a dial tone over the phone's loudspeaker, you can begin dialing. Pressing a rapid dial key will instantly place a call to that contact. If you are already on a call, pressing a rapid dial key will place your existing call on hold and then call that contact. From the phone's idle screen, Select the Contacts soft key to access your contacts. Once you see all of your contacts, you can use the navigation pad to scroll, or you can use the number keys on the phone to search your contacts. When using the number keys to search, you can search either by phone number or by name using the letters on the keys. Once you find the contact you want to dial, highlight it and then press the Dial soft key. Your phone can redial the last number you called by using the redial feature key. Pressing the key will place a call to the number you most recently called. While a call is active, you can switch between the handset, headset, or speakerphone, and your call will remain connected by using the audio path buttons or by lifting the handset. If you are on the speakerphone or using the headset, Pressing the audio path button that matches your current path will hang up the active call. Likewise, if the handset is in use for a call, placing it in the cradle will end the call. You have several options to choose from while you are on an active call. You can end the call, place the call on hold, transfer the call, set up a conference call, record the call, or park the call. You will learn more about these options in the Digium IP Phone Training Series. When you receive an incoming call, the ringtone will play and the message indicator light and your line key will flash. You can answer the call by lifting the handset. If you would prefer to answer the call using the speakerphone, you can press the speakerphone button or the answer soft key. If you receive an incoming call that you don't want to answer, you can press the Ignore soft key. This will make your phone stop ringing and send the call to your next call rule. If you would prefer to send the caller directly to your voicemail by passing all other call rules, press the Send VM soft key. You may also screen your voicemail when a caller is leaving you a message. Learn more about screening a call in the Digium IP Phone Training Series, How to Use Visual Voicemail Video. The transfer soft key can be used to send a caller to another extension or number without answering. To place an active call on hold, press the Hold Feature key. The caller ID will change colors on the display and it will show a hold icon. To resume a call on hold, press the hold feature key or use the resume soft key. 
When you are on a call and another call comes in, you will hear a call waiting tone, the line key will flash, and another call handle will appear on your display. To answer the call, press the line key or use the navigation pad to scroll to the new call and press the answer soft key. When you answer another call, any active calls will automatically be placed on hold. You can navigate between multiple calls using the navigation pad. Press the resume soft key or the hold feature key to speak to a party or the end call soft key to hang up. While you are on an active call, you may need to send that call to another extension or number. You complete this task by transferring the call. Following these simple steps, you can transfer calls to other extensions, to outside callers, directly to voicemail, and even choose whether or not you wish to announce the caller to the person receiving the call. There are two main types of call transfers. A blind transfer sends the caller directly to the person receiving the transfer. An assisted transfer allows you to speak with the person receiving the transfer before completing the transfer. The fastest transfer method is called a blind transfer. This method allows you to rapidly send a call to another party or their voicemail. An assisted transfer allows you to talk with the party you are transferring to before the transfer. Assisted transfers are often called friendly transfers as this process helps to facilitate a positive customer experience during the transfer. Transferring a call always starts by pressing the transfer feature button. The call is put on hold, allowing you to manage the transfer without disrupting the original caller. While on a call, press the transfer feature button. Then dial the extension or phone number of the person to whom you wish to transfer the call. To complete a blind transfer, press the transfer feature button or transfer soft key. Or to begin an assisted transfer, press the dial soft key, which starts a new call to your preferred contact. If you wish to complete the assisted transfer, press the transfer feature button or soft key while speaking with your contact. If you wish to cancel the assisted transfer, press the end call soft key. You may then press the resume soft key to speak with the original caller or enter a new extension or phone number to try again. While on a call, press the transfer button, then press the contact soft key. Search through your contacts using the keypad, entering a first name, last name, or extension number. Or you can scroll up and down using the navigation pad to find the contact. Once you find the contact you want, be sure it is highlighted. To complete a blind transfer, press the transfer feature button or transfer soft key. To begin an assisted transfer, press the dial soft key. When you press dial, you begin a new call to the contact to whom you're attempting to transfer. If you wish to complete the assisted transfer, press the transfer feature button or transfer soft key while speaking with your contact. If you wish to cancel the assisted transfer, press the end call soft key. You may then repeat the contact search process or press the resume soft key to speak with the original caller. If you want to transfer the call to the person's voicemail, press the show soft key, then select transfer voicemail. If you have rapid dial keys set up with your often used phone numbers, then transferring a call is very easy. During an active call, press the transfer feature button to start the transfer, then push the rapid dial key of the contact to whom you wish to transfer. By default, the system will attempt an assisted transfer. If you want to transfer a call to the person's voicemail directly without ringing their phone, then while on a call, Press the transfer feature button or soft key to start the transfer. Then press and hold the contact's rapid dial key. 
This will display the person's contact details where you can select transfer voicemail. If you want to use a blind transfer to send calls directly to your rapid dial key contacts, you can change the behavior of your rapid dial keys in your web user portal. To access the user portal, you will need your extension number and password. If you do not have this information, please contact your network administrator for assistance. From the web user portal, using the Features drop-down menu, select Phone Features. Next, select the Rapid Dial Keys tab. Then, click the Digium Phone Options button. Set Blind Transfer Rapid Dial to Yes and click Save. The next time you start a transfer while on a call and press the Rapid Dial Key Contact, it will send the call directly to the recipient using a blind transfer. Learn more about Rapid Dial Keys in the Digium IP Phone Training Series, How to Use the Contacts Application video. Thank you for watching the Digium IP Phone Training Series, How to Use Your New Digium IP Phone video.